Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a full comprehensive review of this amazing smartwatch from Lempho called the LEMD which has a hidden pair of true wireless Bluetooth 5.0 earbuds. So let's get started. If it's your first time on my channel, please consider subscribing as I do regular videos for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. You'll find a dedicated playlist for budget smartwatch. Be sure to check it out and if you want, you can support my channel by becoming a member at a small monthly charge with all the perks that I'll offer. Click this join button to check out all the perks of becoming a member also check out some cool merch under the store tab and check out as well as subscribe to my second youtube channel for mobile friendly short video content Today I have a bold and imposing smartwatch from a brand named Lempho. If you aren't aware about Lempho, they are a brand that makes great smartwatches. I have reviewed their M1 Smart Bracelet a while back and the video is linked at the end of this video and I'll be referencing the M1 Smart Bracelet in this video as the LEMD has a concealed pair of true wireless Bluetooth 5.0 earbuds just like the M1 Smart Bracelet. Anyways, this is a review unit sent to me by TomTop.com for an unbiased review. Just a disclaimer guys, TomTop is not the manufacturer of this watch, but it's an online store which sells this and the other smartwatches along with a ton of other products. So in short, I am by no means influenced by TomTop to bias my review and no pre-approval rights were provided. This will be an in-depth review starting with price, setup process, mobile app review, design specs, features, fitness tracking, sleep tracking and my final verdict. And for your convenience, everything is time coded on the video timeline. Let's start with unboxing while talking about its price and availability. So it came in a box like this one. For those whom it matters, the unboxing experience is okay. It's not something remarkable. However, this watch offers a lot of features for the price you pay in my opinion. This watch is on sale at tomtop.com for only $60. The price may vary depending on when and where you are watching this video. Anyways, I have linked the direct links to get good deals on this smartwatch in the video description. Be sure to check it out. So as you see in the box, there is the watch itself with extra ear tips for the wireless earbuds. The magnetic charging cable, a user manual in Chinese, English and Russian and an extra screen protector which is really nice. I think every smartwatch manufacturer should do this unless they are really sure that the glass of the display is scratch proof. With unboxing and the price being done, let's talk about the setup process and briefly review the mobile app. So the setup process is pretty straightforward and quick. Just go ahead and download the Fit Cloud Pro app from the Apple App Store. I have already connected this watch to this app, but all you gotta do is go under the devices and you will find an option to add a device. Then either you can scan the watch via Bluetooth or scan the QR code of the watch which you can find in the watch by going in the menu and settings. In just few seconds the watch will get paired and you will see it as you can see on my phone. For this video purpose, I'll be using my iPhone, but the process and the app will be identical for the Android device. Now, since we are on the app, let me briefly review the mobile app. You can skip to this timestamp if you don't wanna know about this app. So here is where you can enable and disable message reminder, and you can see there are pretty much all the apps that you use on a regular basis. So make sure to turn on all the apps that you wish to receive the notification from. You have to set the alarm from the mobile app, unfortunately you can't do it from the watch directly. Next is sedentary and drink reminder which is my personal favorite as the watch will remind you to drink water and stand up after a set amount of time. Watch face is the charm of this watch as unlike the other budget smartwatches, this watch has a lot of watch faces to choose from despite of it being paired with an iPhone. From my experience when paired with an iPhone, a lot of watches lose the option of customizable watch faces. But that ain't the case over here. You can even make your own custom watch face with your desired background as I have it on my watch. And you can even add all your favorite watch faces to the my watch face section. The only drawback is that it sometimes does not load up all the watch faces 
takes a bit longer to apply the watch face and you don't get all these options directly on the watch. You have to come back to the mobile app to change your favorite watch face every single time. Moving on there are weather reports, lift wrist to wake up, enhanced heart rate measurement, continuous heart rate measurement. I would recommend to keep all these turned on for better fitness tracking. Another cool part is you can find the watch from the mobile phone. But the watch will only vibrate once so you have to keep tapping on the find bracelet option to vibrate the watch until you find it. I wish it would vibrate a bit longer. You can also change the wrist placement and the time format. Another cool feature is shake for photo. But this feature only works from the mobile app and not from the default camera app. So you have to open up the camera app from the Fit Cloud Pro app and shake the watch to take a picture which in my opinion is good to have. Lastly there is the firmware version update, reset to factory setting and unbind the watch in case if you want to pair it up with another mobile device. At the bottom under the me tab you will find settings where you can change your details like name, age, height, weight, daily step goals, preferred units and other settings. Let's go on the home tab. Now here is where you can find all your health metrics like your total calorie burned, distance, goal, etc. You can share your stats, start a workout from the mobile app. When you click on the center step goal counter, you can view your weekly and monthly step goals. Moving back, you will see sleep, heart rate, blood pressure and blood oxygen. All these readings are synced from the watch so you can come back to your reading for each of this metric again in weekly and monthly viewfinder. Likewise you can go for the heart rate, blood pressure and SpO2. You can also search for the data for a specific date by clicking on one particular reading and clicking on the date to select a specific date. Now the coolest feature that I haven't seen on any other smartwatch mobile app is the click to measure all items. Clicking this will trigger to start measuring all the metrics simultaneously which is ingenious. Other smartwatch manufacturers should include this on their mobile app as well. Okay with the mobile app being reviewed let's talk about the design, navigation and features of this LEMD smartwatch. The design is truly bold and imposing. I think it's not suitable for smaller wrist. My wrist circumference is 6 inches to be precise and you can see this watch looks bulky already. So if you got a smaller wrist than mine you should think twice before getting it. But in terms of build quality it's quite rugged and solid. Looking at it anyone would think how heavy it is and to my surprise it's not that heavy it's only 88.59 grams. As per Lampho this watch is made of stainless steel which is quite apparent from the back and the body I think it's made of some form of plastic but the design makes it look like it's made of carbon fiber. Now I am able to use a hex screw driver to unscrew all these four screws holding the metal bars giving it a bold look and also protecting the display as without these the display may come into direct contact from a fall. Speaking of the hex screw driver if you want to replace the wristband you have to have a hex screw driver as the wristband is held in place by four such hex screws which is a bummer but since the wristband are proprietary you won't be changing them quite often and the wristband seems very durable and comfortable. At the back of this watch you'll find the heart rate and the blood oxygen sensor along with the charging pin. Speaking of charging pins let's quickly test out how strong the charger magnet is. It's fair enough it's not that strong. On the right hand side of the watch there are two clickable buttons. The top one is a shortcut to quickly access the 7 preset workouts which are enough but I wish there were more. This watch does not have an option to automatically detect a workout which is expected for the price you pay. And the bottom button is to exit any screen to the main watch face screen. To enter the menu you have to swipe right. When you swipe left you can access three tiles like the workout data, heart rate and sleep. 
From the main screen when you swipe down you get all the quick settings like lift wrist to wake feature you can directly turn it on and off from here which is very handy screen brightness level control the screen is pretty bright at the highest level find my phone do not disturb mode settings and info you also get date and day along with battery level indicator and the watch connection indicator so the quick drop down setting menu is very handy and helpful. The strange part about this watch is to enter the menu you have to swipe right which may take a while to get used to as for most of the smart watches you either have to click the button or swipe left to enter the menu. Anyways the list style menu is super smooth to scroll. You get all these apps which are sufficient for your daily usage. The most I use is find my phone, stopwatch, weather, in weather you can only see the current weather, it won't show you any forecast. I wish we could see a few hours or a few days of forecast. Music is my personal favorite as it works great with iPhone. As with most of the budget smartwatches, the music control does not work with an iPhone. But that ain't the case over here. You can see I can control the music player of my phone including play and pause, skip a track forward and backward, even control volume. The cool part is I can even control external apps like Spotify. Going back there are apps like blood oxygen, blood pressure, sleep, heart rate, sports and exercise data which we will talk about later during the video. Now the distinctive part about this watch is the left side. Now just looking at the watch from the left side you won't even notice that this two buttons like thing is actually a pair of true wireless earbuds. Kudos to Lempho for concealing the wireless earbuds. Part of the reason why this watch is bulky are the built in earbuds. These earbuds are magnetic so to pull them out you have to use your nails. I wish it was a bit easier to pull them out. But hey, it's quite eccentric and I bet this watch will get a lot of eyeballs rolling at it. Inside it you can see the two charging pins and the socket to house the earbuds. It's magnetic so you can just slide the earbuds in and it will stick quite well. No matter how hard you shake, they aren't falling off which is very ingenious. You can just pair these earbuds like any other Bluetooth earbuds and once paired, every time you pull them out of the watch and place them into your ear, they will be connected and ready to go. So if you get a call on your watch, you can answer the call and pull out the earbuds and place them into your ear to start talking. Not just that, you can even control the music player directly from the earbuds as there is a tactile button. Single press to play and pause, long press to skip the same track forward and backward, double tap to control the volume and triple tap to activate Siri. Yes, you can summon Siri directly from the earbud and that's pretty cool. Now let's talk about the size and fit. These are tiny but somehow for my ears they are perfect. They don't fall off and they are a bit bigger than the M1 Smart Bracelet's earbuds. Comparing them side by side, I personally would prefer the LEMD's earbuds. As you can see, they sit deep inside the ear and they don't tend to fall off. But the M1's earbuds don't sit too deep and are easy to fall off. Now in terms of sound quality, they are okay. I personally wouldn't use them as I would rather prefer my Apple AirPods or Galaxy Buds Live. And they are quite frankly not even worthy to be placed beside Apple AirPods or Galaxy Buds Live. But for reference, they are about the same as this budget NS Series 10 True Wireless Earbuds for which I have done a detailed review video linked up in the card section. But overall, if you haven't ever used a premium earbuds like Apple AirPods or Sony, then you will like it. To be honest, the bass and trebles are equally balanced, they don't crackle at the max volume and they are not too bass heavy. They don't even cause a headache with prolonged use. In terms of battery life, these earbuds each has a 25 mAh battery size good enough for about 2 hours from my testing and they start charging as soon as they are placed back in the watch and it takes about an hour to charge them up fully. 
So overall having the wireless earbuds built in the watch is ingenious idea but I think the sound quality still needs to be improved and there is no active noise cancellation or even noise isolation which is fair for the price you pay. With that said let's quickly talk about the specs. Instead of me reading out all the specs just pause the video and read through all the specs including the earbuds which are highlighted with the white palettes at the very bottom. But few mentionable specs are both the watch and the earbuds use the latest Bluetooth 5.0 which is more reliable in terms of connection, energy efficient and has more range. The display is a TFT 1.3 inch color display with 360 pixel resolution. The display in my opinion is surprisingly bright and crisp. The watch is only IP67 water resistant, it's not IP68 waterproof, so they are not meant for swimming. I personally wouldn't even take them near water. This LEMD smartwatch is packed with a 350 mAh battery size. To be honest this is good for a week. And it does take about 2 hours to charge but hey in my opinion the battery life is top notch. In terms of notifications you can get notification from all the app when paired with both iPhone and Android but you can't reply to any of the notification. You can access the notifications by going in the menu and messages app or you can swipe up from the main watch face screen. Now you cannot see any emojis or images from the notifications and you can't even read the entire notification. So for a long email you have to view it from your phone. But it's good to get a notification so you don't miss out on any important notifications. Now in terms of call notifications you can only get call notifications from the regular cellular call with the option to answer or decline a call. It's good that I can at least see the name or the contact number of the caller. And if you choose to answer the call, you can pull out the wireless earbuds to talk directly from them. Now I have tested other calling applications like Viber, WhatsApp, Facebook, etc. And you only get a missed call notifications, but you don't get an option to answer or decline. With all that said, let's talk about the sleep and fitness tracking and wrap this video up with my final say. Yes, this LEMD smartwatch does track your sleep and it's pretty accurate. It even precisely detected my sleep time and wake up time, along with the amount of deep sleep, light sleep and awake time. It does not provide additional data like sleep score, nighttime SpO2 variation, etc. like the Fitbits, but hey, it does the job quite well and kudos for that. Now let's test the SpO2 and the heart rate sensor against a medical grade finger oximeter. So as you saw the SpO2 is relatively accurate but the heart rate sensor is okay. Especially during a workout it's not that consistent, more to it in a second. This watch also measures blood pressure but straight off the bat on this channel I will never recommend a blood pressure monitor which is not pneumatic. So it's good to have it on this LEMD smartwatch but don't use it for your regular monitoring. Now lastly let's talk about the fitness tracking. So I took this watch for an indoor intermittent jog for half an hour and I selected running as the workout and to my surprise this watch knew that I did not run, I was just jogging. I also took my Apple Watch Series 6 on my other hand and you can see the results. I was surprised that the distance traveled and the calories burnt is pretty close to the Apple Watch. But both these watches are way far from the treadmill as my treadmill does not have my biometrics like the height, weight, age, etc. So the calories burnt on a treadmill will always be lower. But the major problem was the heart rate. The average heart rate measured by the LEMD during a workout was way lower than the Apple Watch. It makes sense as the Apple Watch has more photodiodes for accurate heart rate measurements. So in my opinion, the heart rate monitoring on this watch is good but it needs to be improved. Guys making such in-depth review videos takes a lot of effort. Please consider subscribing which is free for you and in doing so you'll get to see such cool text being reviewed. With that said, here is my final verdict.
for $60 this is 100% worth it as even the cheapest true wireless earbuds will cost you about $40 so this watch is a good deal. The built-in wireless earbuds are of decent quality, obviously they are not that great but are better for the price you pay and are very handy. You will never run out of a pair of wireless earbuds. The smartwatch itself is packed with good features like SPO2, heart rate monitoring, basic apps like alarm, stopwatch, find my phone, find my watch, ability to see notifications and get call notifications as well as huge selections of customizable watch face not to mention the sleep tracking, decent fitness tracking, sedentary and water reminder with bold and imposing looks. This is a perfect smartwatch if you are starting out. Just make sure it's suitable for your wrist as it's a bit bulky and in my opinion it won't look good for a smaller wrist than mine. Let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts about this Lempho LEMD smartwatch. So that's it I really hope you found this video helpful if you did then please give this video a thumbs up it really means a lot. Also follow me on my other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care I'll catch you guys in the next one.